Welcome back to the NEC Network, where I'm here with Coach Dale Starr of Robert Morris' volleyball team. Coach, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Now, first of all, congratulations on the sweep against St. Francis this weekend, getting your 200th win overall in collegiate. Now, congratulations on that. Talk us through a little bit of the St. Francis game. Uh, the St. Francis game was, you know, it's always a tough place to play. They always play us very, very hard. It's, the, you know, the rivalry thing, and, and uh, they've got a good team over there. They um, they struggle at times in certain things, but they've got a really good team, and I was pretty nervous about going into that into their place. And uh, Usually when we go in there, it's a dogfight, and, uh, we haven't fared too well in matches where people have pushed us, so I was a little worried. But um, to, to these kids' credit, they came out and they worked, followed game plan, um, made very few mistakes, and uh, we were able to come out of there with a sweep, which was which was big. Anytime you can get a sweep on the road in this conference is, is good. That's a great way to get your 200th collegiate win. Now, how does it feel to not only just get that, but get it against such a great opponent? Well, um, you know, 200 wins, I mean, it, it is a significant accomplishment, but it's, it means that I've gotten to work with a ton of really great athletes, and, and they've worked hard and, and been successful, and that's, that's really what it means to me. I mean, it's, you know, the personal accolades for me, it, it's not about me. I didn't even tell them that it was coming up to be my 200th coming into the match because I didn't want them thinking about that. I wanted them thinking about the match. And, um, you know, and, and Danny, I think, had, had let them know that it was, that it was the 200th win, and... and um, you know that was it was nice that they you know they all signed a ball and gave me that and that's that's always nice to have that but it's it's more about them than it is about me and it's more about the kids that I've worked with over the last 13 years. So. Well, you've done a great job with the team for the past two seasons that I've seen you coach. Now going into this weekend, you have home court advantage against Bryant and Central Connecticut. How important is it to really face both of those teams Saturday and Sunday? Here at the school center. Well, I mean, it's it's always nice to not be on the road. Uh, you know, those are long bus trips for us. Those are long bus trips for them too, and uh, we we are a little more accustomed to the long bus trips. So I think that reflects in our road record over the last few years that you know we we fare fairly well on the road. Um, you know, being at home and being the Western outlier when they're not used to traveling this far on a bus, and you know, they it's it's a good eight nine hours out here. So. Um, that's that's always a, an advantage. It's an advantage for these kids to sleep in their own beds, be in their own routine, uh, not have to get up at the crack of dawn and get on a bus and you know live out of a hotel room and those types of things. So um, that's always nice to have. And then you know we've we've got a pretty good home record the last three years. Uh, this year we haven't been as successful at home, but we haven't played many home matches either. So having five of our last seven at home this, during this last stretch is going to be big for us. And, we just saw these teams two weeks ago too, so it's still fairly fresh in our minds. So um, we've got some more game planning to be able to do, and some things that, to, some game film to look at with what they try to do against us, what we had success with, what we need to work on, and those types of things. So that'll help us prepare. Plus, it gives us an extra day of preparation because we don't have to travel on a Friday. Lastly, you faced all of um, your rivals in the NEC conference. Now, going into the second half of the season. How does that really prepare you to go up against these teams once again? Well, again, it gives us it gives us some more film to look at. Um, a couple of teams have had some injuries, so it'll be a little bit different look than, than what we've seen. Um, you know, Bryant, the last time we played Bryant, they, they were just moving into a 6-2 because their setter got hurt the day before. And so, you know, that was a new look for them. So I expect them to be a lot more efficient and be able to run that a lot better when they come here. Um, you know, every other team in the NEC, we, you know, we, we have seen. Um, it's just going to be a matter of making those adjustments and being able to execute a game plan is really what it boils down to. Well, thank you very much. Good luck thank with you. the rest of the Appreciate season. Congratulations on your 200. Thank you.